Hi, K5. How are you? My gosh, look where we are. The very last day in March. It's March 31st. I know this number says 31, but when we're talking about the date, we usually say 31st. Just like at the beginning, we say first, second, third, fourth, fifth. That's a little bit of a tricky thing about the date. So that's true today is that the very last day in March. And that's what I wrote for our morning message today. Let's finish up some of those letters. Today is the ooh, ast. And these are two letters that are going to go together. It's called a blend when we put two letters together. And you're actually going to practice blends later on when two letters go swoop together and they make a sound. It's a little bit like the ch and the sh, but actually it's a little bit easier because you can hear the sounds a little bit more. So let's think about the two letters that blend together to make the st. O, A, st. It's the S and the T. The st is like in a stop sign. Oh, there's an octagon without eight sides, right? St. Op. There's the ST blend. Stop. Today is the last day in March, right? That's a digraph. That's a tricky thing called a digraph where two letters are stuck together and you make a whole new sound, not like a blend. We can't even hear the k or the k. We hear a whole new sound. CH says ch. And look, I had to put an uppercase M on March because it's a month. We always put uppercase letters on new sentences, days of the week, months of the year, and people, because those are very important words. All right, so today is the last day in March. We are going to do so many things. We are going to think about blends. We're going to start planning our own how-to book. And you might do something like how to clean your room, how to make a hot dog how to build a Lego robot. Whatever you're really good at, you're gonna start planning what you'll do first, next, after, then, and finally. Next up, we have a new Max and Ruby book, Max Cleans Up, my goodness. Max is such a silly little bunny, isn't he? And you'll see, just like yesterday, you're getting to know these characters really well, Ruby, She's a little bit more responsible. She's older and she's trying to help her little brother clean up. And my goodness, does he ever need some help? He does something very, very funny, but I won't spoil it for you yet. I do want to show you one thing, though, that Ruby does. She goes into Max's room and she really helps organize all of his toys. So all the things are all lined up in a nice, neat, organized way. And I try to do this with Olivia all the time. Let's organize your toys. And it doesn't last very long before they're all mixed up again. But I want you to think with your family now, how can you organize your toys like Ruby does so that you can have everything just so where you know where it is, okay? So I want you to talk about that with your family, um, maybe before or maybe after you watch this book. Maybe you'll be inspired to clean up after you hear this story. All right, K5s, I'll see you soon. Bye.